Hi, another day in the painting studio. Do you ever have periods of time when you have so many ideas in your head that you can't decide what to paint next? Well, when, when that happens to me, I notice which idea keeps rising to the top. And that's usually the one that's, that's the best uh, suited to do. So today I'm gonna do some flowers. This idea has kept coming back to me. You know, uh, Van Gogh, he dreams. His quote is about dreaming. I don't call it dreaming. I just sit there and think about it. So um, I'm thinking about flowers today. Now in some of my previous videos, I've done negative painting on 12 by 12 canvases of a flower. Today, I'm gonna do something a little different, a little different approach to the whole thing. My idea is a 12 by 24 canvas. I'm, I'm liking this longer format. This is going to be a vertical painting and I have a slightly different approach than the negative painting that I did on the previous flowers. So I have a bunch of colors ready to go. Better to have too much than not enough because you can always save it. And there's a, a little bit of silicone in each color. I've got the pouring medium, the paint, a little bit of water, and a few drops of silicone in each. Same formula that I always use. Again, it's personal preference. If I sound a little vague on these mixtures, it's because everybody does something a little different. But here's my paint and here's my canvas. I've gessoed it, so we're going to go ahead and start. Today I've got some white mixed up and I'm going to pour a white background. And these flowers are going, are going to go on a wet white background just for something a little different. It gives me some white to work with once these colors flowers go down. And I'm going to spread this with my hand because who needs a tool when you have the greatest tool ever devised right here. And I'm not talking about the glove. So I'm spreading the white. It'll stay wet during the creation of these flowers. Don't want it super thick. I'm going to let it run over the edge. Probably poured a little too much, but that's okay. That's what happens when you talk and paint at the same time. Wipe the excess off. Okay, here we go. What I'm doing today is called a puddle. Puddle pour. It's not a pity party, it's a puddle pour. Pour some shapes, and there'll be flowers later on. I'm kind of moving along. I'm in hot weather right now. This paint doesn't stay wet for super long periods of time so but I want to get enough on here to get a nice effect and pour just a touch of white in this one not too much let me see one more yellow and then we'll move on to the next one Okay, these next, I'm doing three flowers today. The next two are going to be blue. I'll go over here with this one. Staying in the same color families per flower. I don't want to get too wild with the colors on these because they'll they'll mix and spread when I do the next move on them. Let's see here.
touch of white. White always does fun things when it mixes. So I, oh, I like to use a little bit of white, even though I don't want it to be a white flower, but it should mix with these blues and make some nice variations. Okay, now I'm gonna do one more. This next one's gonna be blue. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Now the next move is I'm going to blow on these and see we're looking for some randomness. We're going to break up these circles. So here goes. I want this one to be bigger, so I'm going to pour a little bit more. I got some really wild stuff there. I like one to be bigger, the biggest, so they're not all the same. So I'm just going to put a touch more in here and see what happens then. Really touch of brown, which I didn't use before. I'm gonna blow again. See, that's starting to look a little better, more like a flower. And I'm going to, let me see, I like it when one, one of the images goes off the edge. So I'm going to turn this and see if I can get this to go off the edge a little bit. I think it's a better composition if one of your, one of your images goes off the edge. That way they don't look, look like they're all trapped within the canvas. It looks like they go on and on. That's one of my composition ideas. Now I'm going to turn it back around, break this up a little bit. Okay, there's some flowers. Now what I was going to do with the white, it looks like it's drying up a little bit. Go back in with some shapes here petal kind of shapes, just a little. I'm not going to change this a whole lot. This is where the wet white comes in, where you can drag it back into the color, just in a few areas. I'm going to put some stems on this. I've got some green. I'm going to just drag real loosely some stems and leaves. Maybe a leaf here. Make this kind of go behind this flower. I like to keep it real loose and primitive.
And I'm going to warm up this green color with a little bit of gold. Just for some variety so it's not just so green. I like using sticks. I don't like paint brushes. I've gotten more primitive with my painting over the years. It seems to be more fun to uh, just do things in a really loose way. So let me look here just briefly. I'm going to give this this one a little bit of a base here. That's it. This one, I'll leave that alone. Now this, I'm going to define these edges just a little bit with black. This is a, a candy apple stick. It's a wooden stick. It's covered with paint, but I really use these a lot. They come in packs of 100, and this is one of my favorite tools. It's just a wooden stick. It's kind of like a pencil, but it's not. I've been using these for years and they last forever. And I'm gonna define the edges of these flowers just very lightly with black. I'm not gonna get carried away, but it really, it really does make them stand out if you do this. And I don't think about it too much. Like, I don't think about what kind of flower is it, because then you start to get too fussy over it. There's nothing fussy about this, as you can see. Just a little definition. A little definition down here. Okay, we're getting we're getting there. You can see how fast this can go. You can spend more time on it, but I'm not sure it's necessarily going to be better. So there's my black as a final touch. I'm going to put a couple of dots of yellow in the middle of this flower just to define it a little bit. So that's it. There's a nice, it's going to be a vertical. You're looking at it in a horizontal way and I'm painting it horizontally, but I'm sort of visualizing this as a vertical. It looked nice on a narrow, on a narrow wall somewhere. Anyway, that's my flower idea and I hope it gives you some ideas. To summarize, you're pouring puddles of paint onto a wet background and then you're blowing them into shape. And remember to keep your puddles relatively small because they'll get bigger as you blow them out into these great flower shapes. Remember, flowers are universal. It's a great subject matter. If you can't think of anything else to do, try some flowers. So, and I also want to mention, I have a Patreon page. We have a lot of fun there. We talk, we troubleshoot. I talk about color mixing, selling, other things that I don't cover on YouTube. For as little as a dollar a month, you can join us on Patreon, and I hope you do. And I also have an updated supply list. It's in the comments. It's a, it's the first comment. I pinned it to the top. It's easily easy to find links to all the uh, supplies I have. It's a more complete list than I've had before. I just updated it, so I hope you check it out there. And remember, pour some flowers, have some fun, make them wild, and we'll see you in the next video.